Hey everybody and welcome back to another edition here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I am Greg and welcome. Certainly I want you all to subscribe to this channel if you're new here and let's get on with it. So Jack Del Rio was fined by uh, Ron Rivera, I think $100,000. Uh, you know, certainly Ron Rivera put out a statement saying that you know, he supported free speech and all this. Um, he understood that Jack Del Rio has, um, you know, uh, an opinion on the January 6th thing, but he was disappointed with his comments. And uh, so he, he fined Jack Del Rio uh, for his comments. And there were a lot of uh, people, in sub in NCAA, NCAA, NCAACP. <laughs> oh, God. I tell you what, I need a lot more of this. Uh, anyway, the uh, NAACP, <laughs> I'll get it right in a second, uh, came out and demanded that Jack Del Rio be fired for his comments uh, about January the 6th. Now, I will say that I think that as far as Jack Del Rio being fired, he didn't say anything. I don't think he personally said anything racist. I think that he had a an opinion. He stated an opinion. And if you really listen to what he said, what did he say that was really wrong? You know, uh, he did make it a statement. You know about people. You know, rioting, looting, uh, burning people's businesses down, which I will say that during some of these riots and, and looting, a lot of businesses that were being burnt down and destroyed were black-owned businesses. So, you know, that in itself is a problem, right? And so I think that Jack Del Rio, and I said in my last video, I'll say it now, I think he had every right to his opinion. Now, do you want to agree? You don't have to agree with his opinion. I don't agree with everything Jack Del Rio said. And, you know, that is just fine because that's what opinions are for. You can either agree with them or disagree with them. But one thing that I think Jack De Del Rio said that people seem to breeze on past is like he said, let's have a discussion. He opened up the floor for discussion, folks. And that's something that is sorely missed in today's society is that we're so quick to want to cancel any opposing views that are different from our own. We don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. No, no. If you don't totally agree with what I say, then I don't want to hear it. I, that's not going to have any place in my life. We're living in such boxes, folks, safe spaces as they call it nowadays, that we don't want to hear anything opposing to our own selves. We're afraid to expand our minds, aren't we? So he said, let's have a discussion. I think that's healthy. You know, let's have a discussion. Why not, right? And uh, so I was a little disappointed in Ron Rivera personally uh, saying that, you know, he was going to discipline uh, Jack Del Rio and, you know, the things he said. Now, should that Jack Del Rio pr probably back off from some of his um, uh, social media comments, being that he does have the position that he has? I will say this: as far as um, you know, some of these coaches and and you know just higher profile people in general that are not in politics, sometimes you know lose uh, using their platforms to push their political agendas. I don't care for it, you know, because I don't think that it's always in the best interest interest of folks. Um, I really think that um, if you're going to be an activist, be an activist, let it be known that you're going to be an activist, that you're going to say, hey, I'm also an actor, but I'm an activist, and so I'm using my platform for activism. If you don't like it, don't follow me, okay? And, and let's establish that from the get-go. Uh, so maybe that's what Jack Del Rio needs to do, is he needs to say, look, I'm on Twitter to be an activist for my own opinions on politics, and not use it for sports-related, for, you know, 
uh, work related or anything like that say okay this is going to be for my own political opinions and maybe once that those boundaries are established you know maybe things are okay and you're going to get what you're going to get uh, but honestly you know well if I agree with them or not uh, I, I think that you know we should just let people talk you, you know if, if you don't like what they say don't listen to it I mean it, it, it's pretty much as easy as that if people are worried that you know people are going to fall for it they're going to start believing well you know what there are going to be some gullible people in this world but there's also some people who find themselves who, who pride themselves to be highly intelligent who winds up being some of the most gullible people in the world as well so that being said they they eat up everything that the news media tells them that shoves down their throat so having said all that anyway enough about jack del rio let's talk about the stadium so um yeah i really want to talk more about the stadium deal which is no more right uh virginia said no we're not going to have the washington commanders here playing in 2027 or whenever it's going to be because we don't like dan snyder uh, all right yeah i i don't know if that's specifically the reason but that seems to be the reason you know what that's good enough for me i don't think anybody really cares for dan snyder at this point and personally um i really hope that uh dan snyder and roger goodell show up uh in front of these um uh, oversight committee hearings uh, and and expresses what needs to be expressed because we need to get all this in the open folks uh, i feel like that things cannot continue to go on the way they are right eventually things have to burst i don't think dan snyder can continue on as owner of this football franchise whether if you are with him or against him i don't think that you can sit there and say Everything's just hunky-dory with him being an owner. Um, I think regardless, I think... Sorry, I have to shift myself around here. <laughs> I, I, I just don't think that he can continue on because he's being attacked in so many different directions that eventually he's going to have to cry uncle. <sighs> Cheers. And because of that, I just think that he has put so much bad publicity on this franchise, this organization. He's ran it into the ground. I mean, how many Super Bowls has this team won since Dan Snyder has taken over as owner? Exactly. How many playoff games has this team won since Dan Snyder has taken over as owner? How many coaches has this team went through since Dan Snyder has taken over as owner? So, you're hearing all this, the, the only thing that's been consistent is inconsistency. So, of course, when you start getting to the point to where you're talking about stadium deals, that's when it really starts hitting you. And Dan Snyder's starting to see that his ways about him is catching up with him. And Virginia's not going to want to have anything to do with him. Uh, yeah, he bought all of this land... That's great. Guess what? You can't develop it. You can't put a stadium there. They're not going to let you. So what are you going to do? Your stadium deal is running out in Maryland. Maryland's probably not going to want to have anything to do with you either. You can't do anything in D.C. What's going to happen? You're going to wind up moving the franchise completely out of the DMV area. Maybe. Maybe. I think... Uh, for DC to lose a team completely would be unheard of. And I think, you know, a lot of people will probably disagree with me on this, but I don't think that that's out of the question. I think if Dan Snyder truly wants to keep an NFL franchise, which I think his days are numbered, I think he's going to try to move the team. I think that's his only option is I'm going to try to move the team, well, if it's, you know, to the West Coast. The West Coast seems to be okay with eating up opportunities to, to get more teams. Maybe it's moving it to places that has been wanting a, a NFL team for a long time. You know, San Antonio, Portland, you know, places like that. 
uh, be unheard of. Portland Commanders, San Antonio Commanders. That actually has a pretty good name to it, ring to it. So, you know, would that suck for for all of us? Yes. But would that open up an opportunity for an expansion team down the road for Washington? Probably. And, you know, that maybe that's what the area needs. Uh, and I would be all for that. You know, would you be willing to lose the Washington Commanders in order to, you know, or lose an NFL team altogether for a few years in order to bring in a completely brand new team, brand new owner, everything, and truly build something new and hopefully something special and great in the future. Something to chew on. Anyway, what did you think about this video? I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I am trying to get back on track with this channel. I really need to, which means I need your support, folks. Really need you to watch these videos. Need you to interact. Please comment, comment, comment. Uh, let, let's have a discussion, right? Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I can use your subscriptions. Um, tell your buddies about this channel. You know, bring them on. Um, hopefully, maybe they'll get something out of this. Um, and if you really want to support me, uh, the links are in the description down below. But I have a, uh, a Patreon page. I'm not very active there. But if you're just really looking for a way to uh, further support me, you can support me there. Really appreciate it. I, like I said, I can use your support. That being said, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I will try to be back with yet another video later on in the week. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Whatever. Whatever, I don't know. I, more coffee.